Amanil Kumar sharing with you an assignment of my student. Now here there are a number of questions and we need to find quadratic functions from the given zeros. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question, try them. And in the following videos we will solve some of them. Now fortunately we do have answers for these questions also. They are not in any particular order but at least we have answers to these questions also. So you can also copy the answers and practice. Right? Now I will take three different types of approaches and discuss with you three different ways in which we can get solution to such questions. Right? So let's begin with a, a very simple question here which is find the quadratic equation in the form of f of x equals to ax squared plus bx plus c for zeros at 3 by 4 and minus 5. So in this case we are given two zeros. One of them is 3 by 4. The other one is at minus 5. And we have to get equation of the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. Right? Now if we have a zero which is at 3 over 4, it means what? It means that we have a factor which should be what? Which should be, I could write this as, let me first write this as 4x minus 3. That is the factor for 3 over 4 as a 0, right? At times, what you can do is, you can also write this as x minus 3 over 4, but we're trying to avoid fractions. So what we will do here is we'll multiply by 4, right? So we kind of get this as equal to 1 over 4, 4x four minus 3. Think like this. So for the time being, we have even forgotten about 1 over 4. We can say that the factor is 4x minus 3. Now 4x minus 3 is 0 for x equals to 3 over 4, correct? So you get the point. So that is the factor. The other 0 we have is at minus 5 and therefore the factor is x minus minus 5 which is indeed x plus 5, right? So these are the two factors. So function, quadratic function, should be what? Should be product of these two, right? So we get 4x minus 3 times x plus 5. So that should give us the quadratic function. So let's multiply now. So you get 4x squared, 4 times 5 is 20, so 20x minus 3x and minus 15. Let's combine the like terms, 4x squared plus 17x minus 15. So that becomes the quadratic function for which we will have two zeros. One will be at 3 over 4 and the other one will be at minus 5. So that is one approach to these questions. In the next video, we will see a different approach and a different type of zero. Okay? I hope you'll enjoy this journey. Thank you.